I don't make anybody be born again. So what did I mean when I said I would like to be a means of people being born again? What, what, does, what do you mean be a means? And I'll read you the verse from which I'm drawing out that mandate. This is 1 Peter 1, 23 and 25. Since you have been born again, now watch this carefully. Since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but imperishable through the living and abiding word of God, this word is the good news that was preached to you. Whoa. John Piper, don't you take lightly what's about to happen here. People are born again, not by perishable seed, like a husband could deposit in a wife, but by imperishable seed that the Word deposits in a soul. That's how it happens. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God, and faith is the first cry of the newborn soul. So, oh, how we should pray that not only will the term be clarified over against our culture, and not only will Christians fall in love with what has happened to them and be amazed every day that they discover more about what God has done in their lives, but that also those who are dead in trespasses and sins will find the word of God and there's life. So God uses the instrument of his word. He doesn't leave us without some sense of how does this happen in the world? It happens by the instrument of his word. My word cannot make it happen. But when the Holy Spirit takes my word, if my word is faithful to this word, then the Holy Spirit makes a rapier out of it. It goes right to the heart. People find themselves laid open and life, and suddenly they see Christ in holy new ways, and they cast themselves upon him for mercy. 